everyone welcome back to my mukbang uh, i'm actually really glad to be back with another corn mozzarella video you know you guys know i love cheese and if you guys haven't had corn mozzarella cheese bandu oh my goodness the best thing ever i mean i think it goes with any kind of spicy food and um it's uh just you don't even have to eat it with anything spicy uh it goes uh it, it's just really good chaser like when you're drinking like korean like you know like soju or even like you know any kind of beer it's a really good chaser i love that i love it so i wanted to pair it with uh, buffalo wild wings blazing wings um if you guys are not familiar blazins are actually one of the spiciest flavors they have 15 have traditional wings with bones and 15 with boneless wings so they are all white meat i never tried the boneless before so i'm actually really excited for that um so if you guys can see this is boneless Ooh, look how hot it looks Ooh, so last time I, I remember first time trying blazon and i actually really enjoyed it but the second time i tried it it was too spicy so i don't know does it depend on where i have it and this one is the traditional okay so before i place these guys i'm actually going to make the cheese first so i have a little pot right here i'm going to microwave it so this is 300 grams of cheese mozzarella cheese shredded so and here um i'm going to add lots and lots of mayo so this is a very simple recipe so i'm just going to add a lot of mayo okay let's do that with some black pepper that's all to your taste so it looks like that so far and then we're going to add just canned corn so it has a lot of juice but it's okay i mean instead of adding water we could just add the juice Um, when I first made corn mozzarella cheese in my like old, old, super old video at my, you know, when I was living at a house, um, I didn't add, um, uh, uh, what is it, the, 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 the mayo, and it works, it's just not as soft and creamy, so I definitely recommend adding mayo. I am using the, Jap I think that was a Korean or, or Japanese mayo, they are a little bit different than the the ones that like you guys might be used to so i recommend those if not it's okay you can use just any kind of mayo you guys have okay so i think that's it you just like a lot of a lot, all of it okay and then i'm just going to kind of toss it a little just mix it around so when they are microwaving they <laughs> melt evenly so just t lightly toss it okay so yep that is done this pot is actually microwavable so i'm going to put the top one i'm going to microwave it for maybe two minutes and i'll check up on that okay so this side we're gonna put cheese so let's grab some foil um My boneless ones. <gasps> oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna just try a little piece. Oh my god, they're so spicy. <laughs> they're very vinegary. No, one of, one of the reasons why. I, ugh, wow. One of the reasons why I really like the fire noodle is because they're. They're not super creamy, but there's, you know, they're very right in the middle. It's not too vinegary like this. Okay, I think that's good. Wow, this is so spicy. Um, on the side, they did give me, like, carrots and celery. I'll just leave it on the side. So, I have my cheese. Ooh, look at this cheese. Um, are they, like, poor? Oh, okay. <laughs> So it got a little bit, it's not completely melted, but that is okay. So for today's drink, I have bubbly cherry flavor. 
I don't know why my fiance got a cherry flavor because we never get anything cherry, but I guess he wants to try it out. We decided not to go back to bubbly because we really like La Croix, but <laughs> he got bubbly, I don't know. So that's for my drink today. I don't think I'm going to be drinking a lot because it's sparkling water and I don't think if it's too spicy. But I don't think sparkling water helps. So. Looks so good. Oh, it smells amazing though. Then we'll try one. This is the... Oh, okay. So I see. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna turn this off for a little bit. Wow, oh, that is so spicy. I would try it with the <laughs> traditional thing. Definitely helps a little, but not by that much. Wow, this is a lot spicier than I remember. Uh oh. Oh, this is so spicy. <clears throat> but the cheese is so good. And I'll try the sparkling water, but it's so... Um, I don't think I'm going to be talking so much in today's video. Um, I know that you guys are probably really, really sick of my, like, wedding, you know, story or wedding planning. So, I decided to make a video today and not talk as much, but I think I'm already talking too much. Wow, I think this is actually spicier than fire noodles.
I think I definitely <clears throat> prefer the traditional one over the boneless. But I got boneless because I thought it would be easier to eat. But uh, I think it's just too spicy for me right now. I don't know why. I don't remember it being that spicy. I thought it wouldn't be as bad as um, fire noodle, to be honest. But I think it's worse. I might have the worst tolerance for heat right now. I think the traditional ones are easier to eat than the boneless. Like, there's less, less sauce on it.
好是，说是白费了。Well, let me talk a little bit because I need to take like little breaks in between because it's just too spicy. I can't even talk. Um, so, yesterday, I met up with my bridesmaids, and um, we actually just wanted to meet just to figure out the uh, the bachelor at situation. You know, girls we plan ahead, like a lot ahead. Which is good. I I think it just just um it's just more secure that way. And we did that the other day, and um, we actually found a place. I was going in between like two places for the bachelorette party. I know like I'm not supposed to be involved or like plan at all, but we just thought that we'd better knowing my personality, you know, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to plan together. So yeah, we found the place to stay, but we haven't booked the flight yet uh, because apparently it's cheapest in October. So we decided to wait, but we're only staying going for the weekend, and which I I think that's the best great. I think that's the best um, amount of time that I need. You know, I don't really need to go for that long, and I don't even think my I don't you know I feel bad asking my friends to take off more than a day. You know, so. That's so why we decided and we made this like spreadsheet and we uh, wrote down like restaurants that we want to try out. So we are just listing a bunch of stuff. Not that we're going to do all of it, but we just have options, you know. So, And I told them that I'm not looking for a vacation where like I need to do something every single day. And like like 9 to 5 o'clock, we're bu constantly busy seeing things. I didn't want to do that. Like I think be before... You know, I really liked it. I not that I liked it. I, it was more of like I felt like that's how it should be because I'm spending this mon much money to fly here and paying this much money at a hotel, so I need to make my money worth. So, you know, like I I kept myself really busy every single day. But you know, like in the end, I just feel like it was too busy that I don't really enjoy it. Sometimes I don't know. So I just like after you guys know that I went to Lake Tahoe in March and. Yeah, we did go for six days, but it was so laid back, and I loved it. I l enjoyed every moment. It was so relaxing, and that's what I wanted. That's what I want. So I told my bridesmaids that, honestly, yeah, I want it to be laid back. We can do, like, one thing a day and just enjoy the seafood, enjoy the the scenery and the nightlife. Um, and uh, I, wa I told them that, oh, another thing that I want you guys to do for me is we're gonna all sleep in the living room. I think we got a two bedroom one. And I told them like, hey, like I really want all of us to sleep in the living room. <laughs> I just think it'll bond us together better. And cause um, yeah, I mean some of them are like, it's their first time seeing each other. Like, you know, they're not really like friends and I want them to become friends. So that's what I want to do. 
like sleep in the living room, wake up together, watch a movie together. I think it'll be fun. But you know, it's still a long time until we actually go. Wow, my stomach is actually like kind of burning right now. <laughs> my stomach is literally just burning right now. Oh my gosh, I should've got an ice cream. I have grape. So I have a little bit of grape here. Hopefully this helps me a little. So yeah, my Ever since I got engaged, my life has been so productive. Because not that like I want to get it over with. I just want to have it done. So, because I thought about what matters to me the most. Especially with like the bachelor party too, um, they asked me like, "What mat? What's most important to you to for this trip?" And to be honest, like, I didn't want to like. I think number one thing is for us to bond. Like, you know, I, I know that a lot of them never hung out, never they never seen each other before. They didn't know each other existed. So in a way. They're also different, different, you know, like, I'm different. But, somehow, you know, because through me, or through Tong, the fact that I met Tong, and the fact that I'm marrying him, and it's bring us together, it means something. So, I really want us to get all, like, you know, I didn't want to say it, I tell them, like, I want you guys to bond, like, become best friends. Like, I don't want to say it like that, because I thought it would be, like, like, it'll kind of kill the mood and, like, make the, I don't know, like, make them feel awkward and, like, pressured. I don't know. So, I don't want to say that. But that that definitely is one of my top things that I want out of this trip. And that, on top of that, um, you know, obviously, I wanted to be laid back, kind of relax a little. You know, free trip. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Another reason why we're not staying there too long is because I don't want them to spend too much money on me. And, you know, like, I've been getting a lot of help from um, a lot of, like, my friends who got married. And they, they sent me their budget sheet and, like, how they planned everything. And I looked at one of them, or, like, a lot of, like, yeah, one of them especially, she, like, she paid, like, the amount of money that the bridesmaid spent on her, she kind of paid it back in a, like a different way, like with a gift, or like somehow, you know. So, wedding is not just about me, 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 because I'm spending money on my wedding. You guys have to pay for me, 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 me. It's not like that. If they're spending like ten dollars on my, um, what is it, ten dollars on my bachelor party. That I could spend at least five dollars, you know, like or ten dollars. I mean, like it doesn't have to be that exact. And like, oh, you spent ten dollars on me. Oh my god, I have to spend five dollars on you. But I think like that's like the general idea. Like it doesn't always have, you don't. If you don't have money, I guess you don't always have to make up with money. But you know, like at least be very grateful and don't take it for granted for sure. Um.
Voilà. Um, a lot of people think that not a lot you know some people that around like you know some people point out to me that you know directly that oh don't, aren't you rushing your wedding or like isn't your wedding a little too fast I actually don't think so because we still have about 7 to 8 months to plan and get shit together <laughs> I think that is perfect amount of time. I told Tong today that if I wanted to, I could get married in November or December. But you know, it's in the end, it comes down to money. You know, like catering is very, very expensive. You know, providing food for people is very, very expensive. And um, but they do installments where you can pay like. You can either pay fifty percent down first and then pay half of it last, you know, before the wedding, or like some places offer like three installments or like four or five. So I'm still catering is the only thing that I'm still like um, calling different places and trying to figure that out. But um, to be you know like real talk, it's costing us a, around twenty thousand dollars, and <laughs> yeah, just to feed people, but because. It includes staff, equipment, food. We're trying to cut it down a lot, but that's like the proposals that we've been getting, like twenty thousand, to have a decent catering. So I've been looking a lot, a lot at pros and cons for um, buffet and you know plated, like seated service, and uh, obviously buff- the biggest benef- benefit that buffet has is it's cheaper. I don't think it's as cheap. Okay, like, it, it depends. Actually, there's one taco place that I found, which they're so cheap. They're buffet style only. And they're super, super cheap. Like, they're half the price. Um, but it's just, like, we're having about 140 people at our wedding. And imagine them in their, like, nice dress and heels, waiting in line with their plate. We just thought that, mm, that's not really something that we want to go for. In the beginning, we thought we did because let's just try to find every single possible way to save money but you know people get you know we we got greedy we wanted more we wanted our wedding it's one time like one wedding and we wanted to make it good so we're like okay let's not do buffet so we decided to do plated and receipt a service and yep it's definitely better i think I think it'll be worth the money because, you know, like, the fact that people are just sitting down, it'll be more, like, it wouldn't be too, like, I feel like when people get up to get their food, it'll be just too um, messy and chaotic, so we just thought that we want, you know, we thought that having people just seated would be our best choice. But yeah, I mean, like, obviously, like, the bread and the groom obviously spends most money. I mean, like, it's our wedding, and we want, we're asking people for a favor, and they come and they are celebrating with us although we are paying for you know like so it's kind of like give and take i think um so and like the more than i plan about on our wedding I, the more i appreciate like my other like my friends weddings because i'm not gonna lie to be completely honest what all the some of the weddings that i went to i kind of criticize a lot i'm like my wedding will be like this or like i want i don't want this in my wedding kind of thing you know i know what a douchey move like i understand but you know like it was like my first weddings i i didn't like all the weddings that i'm like familiar with was in like movies and like just it, it looks it just looks perfect and it looks you know, it's supposed to be, like, affordable, but it's actually not, I, I don't know, like, the the way the movies and dramas portray weddings look just so nice, but, like, when I actually went to real weddings, it just, like, didn't meet my expectation, to be honest, but, you know, let me explain, but more I, I plan, and, like, more I studied weddings, I appreciate it, and, like, I feel bad for criticizing, because, I understand why they did that. You know, I understand why they didn't do this and why they did this. Like, I understand. So, that's one, you know, like, people learn, you know, people learn as they go. So, I 
you know, like I'm definitely learning about of you know people's weddings and like how they plan and just appreciating everything, you know. And hopefully, um, if like some people come and like our wedding's not as good as they expected it to be, oh well, I can't do anything. But hopefully, if one one day they'll plan their own wedding and understand what what we went through. Although I'm enjoying every step step of the way. I love it. I even love the whole, like, you know, because during the week, you know, I don't feel mukbang, and uh, I try to be on a, you know, healthier diet, and I love it. I even love the idea that I'm losing weight, not not just, like, you know, like, in the end, I want to look good, yeah, healthy, yeah, but I want to look good for my wedding, and more specifically, I need to fit into this wedding dress and look a certain way, so I have a very precise and specific goal. It motivates me, and I love it. I even love. I'm loving all the stress that I'm getting right now. Some people might think I'm crazy. I haven't shown my bridezilla side yet, uh, uh, which might happen once I start wearing, wear, like trying on dresses and like rehearsal dinner. And I got. I think I'm like eighty percent. Okay, maybe like seventy percent done with my part, but I'm still like waiting on my fiance side and like you know i'm just waiting on their decisions like um, i don't want to be a, i don't want to be pushy because the guys do take a little longer and we still have a lot of time so i don't want to be like do you do this do you do that i want to do that and, you know i don't want to be like that yet but i just feel like they're not going anywhere <laughs> like i feel like they are too laid back right now is it how it is always like guys are always really laid back i heard that like some guys like go for like a like a like before the actual ceremony they like play sports and like they just hang out like they don't feel pressured at all while the bride is in the bridal suite getting their makeup done and like trying to look as perfect as possible um but yeah i am going to end the video here today this ended up being a challenge to me because this thing is too spicy <laughs> um yeah never get it um but i think I'm surprised that Korea didn't come up with the fried chicken with the fire noodle flavor. I, or maybe it's like the brand and like the um, copyright, probably right. Uh, but yeah, maybe the that company should come up with the fried chicken. I don't know, but uh, yes, this was so spicy. But if you guys love Blazin, unlike me, and can take the heat, still try it with the corn mozzarella. It's amazing. It's a great combination. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I ended up talking a lot more than I expected but I hope you guys still enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!